Hello everyone. Today we will discuss how to summarize the assessment of a patient with spinal cord injury after we have done the uh, manual muscle testing and sensory exam for the patient like we learned last time from supine position. And basically, the most common universal language to summarize such test results is using the American Spinal Injury Association scoring sheet or as it's called, International Standard for Neurological Classification of Spinal Cord Injury Worksheet. An abbreviation for it, which I avoid to use, is the ICNC-SCI sheet. Um, I will just stick to Asia. Uh, before we start with this sheet, I want you to remember that this sheet was updated in 2019. And therefore, whenever you use the sheet, you need to make sure that you are using the updated one. Why? As we will see, we have instructions on the sheet. And it will be helpful to make sure that we are using the updated ones. So this is what the sheet looks like. And we will discuss it into details now, uh, where we see how we can um, report the results of the manual muscle testing or the sensory exam on the right and left sides. But first, before we delve into that, I want you to remember that you need to make sure you are using the most recent version. How? By looking at the lower left or right uh, uh, bottom uh, of the uh, sheet, you will see that it says here revision 0419. So this is telling us that this is the 2019 uh, version of the sheet. So make sure you use it. And I, as I said, why is that? Because if we look at the next page here, we have instructions for scoring, and most of the update has been had been to those instructions. So you need to make sure that um, this is the correct form. And uh, today, what I will be discussing is how to fill the form and abide to all of those um, instructions. So at the end of today's class, make sure you read all those instructions on this page here and you understand everything. If you miss anything, then just go back and um, review the video uh, talking about each segment. So, um, let's just explore the sheet first and then we will talk about the scoring. As I mentioned, so we have here the right side of the sheet Okay. okay. On the right side, we summarize the um, right side of the body uh, results. On the left side, we are talking about the uh, left side of the body. And as always, my right and left are switched, so uh, excuse me for that. Okay, let me review here on this blank sheet first, and then we will go into the filled one. So, as I said, uh, on the right, we will be scoring the outcomes of the right side of the body. On the left, the left side of the body for the patient. On each side, we will have the same things to be reported. First, we need to report the scores of the five myotomes for the upper limb, and then five myotomes for the lower limb. And here, the score is from 0 to 5, the standard MMT that we discussed um, in our previous uh, videos. And if you are in doubt of any of the um, uh, scores, then what's very helpful is that here, on this side of the sheet, you have a summary of the uh, scoring um, criteria. And more details are shown on the um, second page of this sheet. So this is for motor. If we look at the sensory, we have two columns here. And the first column is for light touch. The other column is for pin prick. And as we go through the key points with our sensory exam and ask the patient whether they are able to feel the sensation or not, we enter the responses here. And again, if we are in doubt of the scoring system, then we can see here a summary of it. 0, 1, 2, and um, we just fill in the details on this side of the sheet. 
for the uh, right side of course and the same thing for the left side on this other side so uh, filling those parts should be easy for us because it's all um, the 0 to 5 scale for the MMT and the 0 to 2 for the sensory exam what's next is that we need to summarize those results and fill in the bottom part of the scale and this is what we will learn to do right now